It's good I got up in the middle of the night to do this, because when I got up, I, it, all night I'd been thinking about the lulav. Lulav. And I woke up in the middle of the night and really wanted to do this video, and so I got up and went to get my book, and then I realized I didn't say the appropriate day of the Omer last night. And you have until dawn or whatever it is to say it. And if I didn't, if I didn't get up now, I wouldn't have said it. So I got up and I said the Omer, and today is the ninth day of the Omer. And what is that? That day is considered in some ways, Gavura Shubba Gavura. You see? So, oh, that's Gavura of Gavura. That's a, a very high. But that's coming from the top. When you come from the bottom, the ninth day is Yesod Shuba Yesod. And that's what I, that's the phallus. That's Yesod of Yesod. And strangely enough, that's what I'm talking about in the lulav. The lulav is yesod. <laughs> That's what the whole video is going to be about. That the gematria of lulav, when spelt out with a vav, aleph, vav, for the gematria of the vav in lulav, lamed, vav, lamed, bet, comes out to be 573 plus 12 letters plus one for the word is 586. So Lulav spelt, spells 586, the magic number, which all night I had in mind of, as the shofar, which is 586. Shin Vav uh, Peresh. And of course, 586 is Yerushalayim, and it's Ha Kotel. But for my purposes, it's Yesod fully spelt out. So the Lulav is really Yesod. You know, they say the Lulav is the spine, and they associate it with Teferet. But it's really the spine, and it's the center, but it's associated with yesod, because that's the real energetic center. And, and it's the linear pillar also, like an erected phallus, an erected phallus is like a spine. And your second brain revolves around that phallus. Like your first body brain revolves around your spine. So the erected penis is the spine. Another thing about it, well, I'm going to do a little lulav, because you see, the lulav is done within a sukkah. And the sukkah is a cube. Now, I've been doing a lot of work here with spatial work. You know, let me get up a little bit here. I've been doing a lot of spatial work based on some, you know, Horse position. Can't see my feet here, so. Horse position. So you rounded arms, and you're in you're a pole in the middle of a circle. And that's a monad. That's that's a dot in the middle of a circle, but you're a pole in the middle of a cylinder here. And it's rounded. See? 
The arms are rounded, and I've been playing tennis like that. But what I, all of a sudden, I get this, this lulav. And lulav is, of course, gematria is 68. Normative gematria, and that's chayim. The eighth chayim, the tree of life. Ooh. Ooh, hold on. Hold on. Sukkah. Fully spelt out is 238. Let me just see this. 160. No. So the Chayim is 68, and that's from the Tree of Life. And I do that with one and a half, because the fullness of something is one and a half. So I add 34 to the Chayim, and we get 102, and that's Emunah, and that's also Eloheinu in the Shema, for those interested. But I'm in a sukkah when I do the lulav. And so I'm in, I'm a circle, I'm, I'm a monad, I'm a dot in a circle, but that's not the high point. See, it's the same thing. Space is cubed. It's the cube of space. There's a circle within it, but that's only where you are without movement. You see, you can be in a circle, there's a circle. But once you move your horse position, which is rooted to the ground, once you move those arms, you get to the corners beyond the circle. See? If you've seen some of my videos, which I, I'm going to start posting uh, appropriate videos of mine in the comments, uh, whatever it is, commentary part. But you see, once once you move, you're coming to the outer limits past the circle. So that's the space cube. But to do that, you have to move. You have to move the legs. Otherwise, you're really only in a circle. Because as Dad used to say, these, these joints make circles. See, but stepping or whatever, you make a square. And one of the ways we make the square is we do the lulav. We shake the lulav. And to get to a square or a cube, we have to have an extension of the normative monad position. See? And that fifth dimension, see? There's three parts of the soul that's the body. Then there's the surrounding lights, the chaya, which is a circular light. And then to me, the Yehida is the cube light. And that can only be reached with an extra object. Now in Aikido, they do this kind of another here. But you see here, so here's the next thing. This object for me is a tennis racket. You can have a stick that extends the Daladamos. But the, yeah, here's a tennis racket. This tennis racket to me is the lulav that we hold. It's nature. See? The lulav is, is the, the, the vegeta vegetable world. And we hold the lulav in our right hand and we hold the esrog in our left. And the esrog represents malchus and the feminine. See? And we hold it together like this, and we do the shaking of the lulav. 
And what do we do? We do it in six dimensions, six directions. See, we do hodu, and then you don't say anything for Adonai. Then you go Adonai, ki, three times each. Three times, very important, three times. To, But did I do it right? So I let's see. We do. We do. Uh, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Front. Do. Okay. Anyway, we do. Front. That's to the east. Two. Three, four, five, and six. Do it once more for you. Holding the, again, Yesod and Malkus. Let me give you some gematria for that before we do this again. Yesod is 80. Malkus is 496. 80 and 496 is 576. Plus the letters, 4 for Yesod, 5 for Malkus, that's 9, plus 1 for all, that's 10, comes out to be 586. And we have Yesod again. See? So this is all Yesod. And this is obviously a spine, see, and, and it's a phallus, okay? So it's east, uh, south, uh, what are we now, west, Uh, north, up, down. That's six directions. You're in a cube. You're in a cube with your extensions. Your circularity, which you do standing because you can only do a circle standing. Your object of extension gives you a cube. See? Beyond the limits, beyond the limits of your circle. Well, that's what the whole idea of squaring the circle is. Beyond the limits of your circle is a square. Beyond the limits of your sphere is a cube. And that's why all homes are rectangular. It's not comfortable to live in a circular home. It's basically rectangular. Let me sit down here again. And so, well, this is the great secret. The great secret is that beyond, beyond the circle is a square. Let me just I'll cover there just here. I don't have a free. Oh, here it is. Beyond the circle is a square. And that's actually the fifth level of soul, the Yehida. And not only that, that's, you know, when, well, the answer is yes. The fifth level of the soul, of the space, space is not round. You know, the earth is round. You know, they used to think the earth was flat. Quite frankly, it's closer to being flat 
than it is to being round, because beyond the round is a cube. You're living in a space cube. You see? And so, this comes out. Let me just see if I've covered all the points I wanted to here. This comes in uh, to be a perfect day from the bottom here, yesod shuba yesod. And the and the the idea of the lulav, you see, as an extension, and we start with these rounded horse positions, horse stance, and we are in a circular dimension, and there are circles, and and spheres of influence, but there's a cube that's around all this, which can only be reached by extensions of man. And that's why man tries to develop things. Because only by extensions of man can you reach man's ultimate thing. You know, like this computer is an extension of man. You know, a video on a, on a YouTube is an extension of natural space. And so that is like a tennis racket. It's an extension of man. An extension of the yard of man. You see? And so it's just like typing on a phone. It's an extension of the, of the hand. And this extension is the fifth dimension. So there's four, there's Dalet Amos, and then there's the Yad, but then there's the stick in the Yad. And obviously, that's why I was up all night. The Lulav got me here. Uh, and it's appropriate.